Marin Butch Stansinger was feeling a bit devilish. And being at something of a loose end, he rang up his next door neighbor, whom he hadn't seen some time. He asked her if she wasn't doing anything special, whether he could tempt her to a day in the country. She said he could. A little later, they were walking through the town, across the bridge, and up onto the hill. At the end of the day, Murren and his neighbour stood outside his crack. Good night, said Murren. But she stood as if reluctant to leave. Then she hugged him and told him what a lovely day she'd had. Shall I stay a bit longer, she said. Do you want to, asked Murren. If you want me to, she said. And after a few more similar exchanges, she stayed. Mara knew this was a mistake. He knew he would regret it. But what could he do? A day later, Maran's neighbor rang him up and asked him if he would like to go for dinner. I would, said Maran, but unfortunately, I can't tonight. Then she met him in the street and asked him whether he would like to watch the late night film with her. Very much, said Murren, but I have to be up early in the morning. Finally, she came round and asked him if he could spend the weekend with her and go away somewhere. Of course, said Murren, although, unfortunately, I have to visit a friend. Murren Butch Stansinger, she said. You've really been leading me on. And so she left leaving Murren to ponder. The whole thing reminded Murren of a little poem he'd once heard. The devil, having nothing else to do, went off to tempt my lady Poltergrew. My lady, tempted by a private whim, to his extreme annoyance, tempted him. Mm -hmm.